It's the Kelly Clarkson Show, a tribute to Rad Dads. With me through this hour is Kevin Hart. Yes, yes. How did I do? Yes. How did I do? Does that uh, I mean, look, it wasn't bad. Okay. Can it be better? I mean, look, okay. you know. I need to dream bigger. I mean, look, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what, I've had these chips and stuff out here for quite some time. You need I, some new snacks? Well, just like a little, another wine. I like to taste another different wine. wine. I don't yeah. really finish it. Where are the wine tasting like right the, now? I like it. It's yeah. like to keep tasting it. Like Any that. other snack or are you? Like you, some chocolate. You got some chocolate? Oh, my God, you're in the right I'm house for that. i a little chocolate drop. Why not <laughs> eat myself? <laughs> Hello. 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 <laughs> Hello. Wow. Oh, I love chocolate. Wow. I love this show. Man, okay. You are, you are winning me over, man. Justin, you're Justin, nailing it. You really Except nailed. we don't have that wine yet, but we'll get that. We'll get that out here. Okay, cool. I like our wine tasting. You gonna try some? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna try some chocolate. Do it. Do it. Oh, there you Here go. He's serving start. you first. Thank you. Like it hey, should well, be. Thank you. Apparently. Giving me mine first. Okay, yeah. No, it's totally fine. What a gym he is. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Uh, how's this one? Mm. This one is good. This one is good. Mm. Okay. Um, so earlier we talked about Kevin's new movie. It's based on the real-life best-selling memoir, Fatherhood, previously known as Two Kisses for Maddie. We actually have the author, Matt Loglin, joining us. Give it up for Matt. Yes. Matt. How are you doing? Good to see you again. Air cheers. Yeah, cheers to you. Air, Air cheers. cheers. Wait, cheers. speaking of cheers, Justin, what is this one? You didn't tell me what this one was. Well, as of right now, you guys are drinking Duck Horn Cabernet Sauvignon. This okay. wine is bright, firm, tennis, and flavors of boysenberries and black currant. Oh. Um, I can taste it all. Yeah. Oh. All of it. I got That's all good. of that. That's yeah. a good one. I'm pretty good at it. That's a good read, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys have obviously met before, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I met Kevin on the set when they were shooting up in Montreal. And yeah. uh, it was a thrill of my life to finally meet this guy. He's the busiest yeah. man in the world. And it was just such an awesome opportunity for me to be there. And I got to bring my daughter along. And uh, Kevin... Couldn't have been nicer to her the entire time. It was just super impressive. I can say it was mutually, mutually uh, a, a feeling that was uh. mutually received and respected, man. Such an amazing guy with an amazing story. His daughter was unbelievable, but they came to set, hung out, and it's, uh, it's dope when you see the creatives behind a project, behind a movie, and you get to see their reaction as to seeing their, their baby, this thing that started with a pen and a piece of paper now come to life and turn it into what it became. It's, uh, it's truly dope, and I'm glad that I could be a part of it. Yeah, it's got to be a crazy thing, too, to, like, your life, like you wrote this book like based off your life, right? And obviously changed a little to the movie as adaptations do. But I mean, is it just nuts knowing that that was your, like your life and your hardship that you went through like inspired this? And this might be a really helpful movie, not might, it will be, to a lot of people out there that unfortunately have been through the same circumstances as you. Absolutely, I never expected that my life would go from having my wife die the day after my daughter was born to sitting here with you guys and talking about this movie that's coming out in June. Uh, it's just an unbelievable experience for me. And so, you know, writing a book and getting this out there was such a, a big part of my healing and getting me to where I needed to be as a, as a parent, as a father, mm -hmm. as a person. And to know that this is going to be out there as a movie that, uh, that a lot of people are going to see, I hope. And I hope that they're going to get some inspiration from it. And they're going to be just blown away by Kevin and his ability to kind of bring my experience and my feelings to, to the screen. Uh, I'm, I think it's going to be a really great opportunity for people. Absolutely. And what are, what's your big hope? Like when you're creating something, I know even when I'm writing a song, like sometimes it's just therapeutic for me, but also I really want not just myself, but other people, there's gotta be a reason why I've gone through something. Like there's gotta be something I can give people that they can take away from the message as well. Did you feel that while doing this? Like what was your message that you really wanted people to take away from it? I want people to understand the universality of this, right? No matter who we are, we're all gonna go through hard times. And no matter how you define those hard times, mine happened to be my wife dying. But we all go through these moments and we have to find a way through them one way or another. And so my story, writing this book, uh, making sure that people could read it, now this movie was a way to say, hey, we're all going to go through something probably pretty difficult in our lives no matter what because we're all going to be born, we're all going to die, and we're going to witness that stuff in between. And I want to make sure that people understand that, uh, you know, there's a way through this and that we can find some positivity in it and we can do things that we never thought we could. Because it's a hard message to receive if you're not ready. Right. That's it gotta, definitely is. Yeah, it's got to be one of those things you, you, you get ready for that at some point. But do you, you have a question too, right, Kevin? Uh, my question is about, is about Maddie. How is she, man? How, 
How's your, how's your door to door? She's doing great. She's 13 years old now. 13. Uh, wow. 13. Hard to believe. So oh. uh, she is just thriving. Uh, she's been doing so great in school. I just can't believe it. I like to call her kind of in the most loving way. She's a bit of a nerd, you know. She is out there I reading. She reads two to three books a week. She's right now reading a book about chess. Two to three books a week. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, how many? I haven't read two to three books in the last two or three years. It's gonna take so. me, it's gonna take me quite some time. <laughs> <laughs> take me quite some time to read. Yeah. You should show her The Queen's Gambit. I love that one. Oh, she yeah, might be she'll... too young for some of those scenes. Never mind, take it back, take it back. I'll cover her eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just saw some of the movie and I was like, I don't know, maybe not. Um, but it's, I just mean, it's about chess, if she's really into chess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She. it's not enough for her just to beat people. She wants to destroy them. So oh now my God, a book I love about Maddie. chess is, yeah, yeah, she's tough, so watch wow. out. Wow, I love a force. Yeah. That's, uh, I love a powerful woman. She's a great kid. Yeah. She's a great kid. Well, Matt Loglin's memoir, Fatherhood, previously known as Two Kisses for Maddie, is available everywhere if you are needing some inspiration. Um, Fatherhood premieres on Netflix June 18th. Yep, I'm still here. Just waiting for you to subscribe. If you don't, I'll be trapped in this box forever.